Raise your hand if you've ever heard of an inference. Perfect, that's what I wanted. No responses. <laughs> okay, you make inferences all the time when you are reading and you don't even realize it. A lot of times you read, oh, we'll stop. Please excuse this interruption. There's a Dodge Journey parked by the back door that needs to be moved and so we cannot get deliveries in. If you could please move it, it's a white Dodge Journey. Thank you. Okay, so a lot of times you make inferences all the time without even realizing it. When authors of books don't tell everything about characters and events, readers have to use story clues and their background knowledge, what you already know, to make that inference. These are clues from the text and what you already know. You put those two together and you make an inference. So, a lot of times you might look at a picture and the author might not give you some certain information about a character in the book, but you look at a picture, you look at a picture, you take what you already know, and you can kind of figure out what the author's trying to say, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But before we talk more about inferences, I want to tell you a story. I tell you something. Listen. Olivia. <laughs> um, about a month ago I had some neighbors move into my subdivision. I haven't seen these neighbors once. Not one time. I've never seen any kids outside. I've never seen them get the mail. I've never seen them pull in their driveway. And the weirdest thing about it, the curtains are always really shut. The house looks really dark. And to me, like, I don't know about you guys, I kind of want to know what the people, my neighbors are like, don't you think? Like, you would want to know what the people are like who are living around you, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And for me, I'm kind of uncomfortable about it, but I don't know, I guess. I had to take it upon myself to figure out what these people were like. So this morning, I hope I hope you don't judge me by what I did this morning. Listen, it's backing out of my driveway. And I remembered, I, I looked, it's garbage day in my sub. I look, my mystery neighbors, they have one bag of garbage at the end of the driveway. What do you think I did? Grab that garbage and put it in your Grab the garbage and put it in my bin. No, I didn't put it in my bin. Ran it over. What did I do, Nameka? Ran it over. <laughs> ran it over. No, I didn't run it over. You guys, I hope you don't think I'm weird. I took their garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? You want to take your neighbor's garbage? No. No. <laughs> I have to figure out what they're like. I don't see them. Yeah, we don't see oh. them. <laughs> you don't know it, didn't there? You guys, this is the only thing I could think of to do. I There's had to. There's a rat in there. <laughs> You're going to help me go through this garbage. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're going to go we're going to go through this garbage and make an inference about my mystery neighbors. We're going to take these clues. We're going to work like detectives because when we make an inference, we take our clues and we take what we already know and we make an inference and that's what we're going to do. We're going to These are our clues. My neighbor's garbage. And maybe if you help me go through this garbage, we can figure out who's living in that house. Or give us some clues what these people even might be like, right? So let's let's try and figure this out together. I have this chart here, and I'm going to just start by showing you a little example. On the computer. Here's the example. It says burnt toast. The inference here says that maybe they aren't good cooks, right? We, if, if we found some burnt toast, it's, wouldn't that tell you maybe someone in the house isn't a good cook? Do you understand now? So you're taking a clue and you're thinking about what you already know. If something's burnt, then maybe someone's not a what? A good cook. Okay, so let's, let's start here. I'm going to look through this dirty garbage. Oh. <laughs> I found an empty box of cold medicine. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Well, but yeah, let's think about this. Let's make an inference here. Cold medicine. Okay, so so what does this item tell me? Quinn. They're probably sick every day. Why every day? Because <laughs> they haven't come out? Probably because they make bad food. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think this is a good inference. Someone is sick, right? Because the box is gone. They've taken all the medicine. Hmm. Hopefully Marissa doesn't mind if I set this garbage at her desk. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's a, a carryout menu for a pizza place. <laughs> okay. A carryout menu. Okay, so beyond this, somebody likes pizza, but if so there's a carryout menu, what does it tell us about these people specifically, Olivia? They don't like pizza. They don't like pizza? They have a carryout menu. Kyle? They go to the store. So maybe they like, maybe they prefer to go pick up their food than to cook. Maybe they don't like to cook. Right? Do you have another idea? Maybe, like how you said up there, for example, maybe they're not so good cooks. Okay, so maybe they're, yeah, let's write that. Not good cooks. Do you guys agree? Maybe we could say, because we don't know for sure. That's the thing about making an inference. You're not always going to be right. You're just you're just taking the clues and taking what you know. So maybe we could say um, they just, they prefer to eat out, right? Okay, let's look and see what else. Oh, a gift. Hmm. Hmm. A gift bag. Preston. Maybe they um when one of his family members took gave him a gift for like when he was sick. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's hear some other ideas, Olivia. Uh, it was someone's birthday. Okay, someone's birthday, maybe? Hmm, Samantha? A Valentine's Day bag? Could be for Valentine's Day. No. Ivana? Like shopping. Shopping? Okay, okay, I think these are some really good ideas. I like, maybe it was a, because they have the cold medicine, maybe it was a get well gift, right? Yeah. Or maybe it was from a, a birthday present. Maybe somebody had a birthday, a birthday gift here. Okay, see, we're starting to make these inferences and figure out about these people. I like this. Oh, this is a good one. Just add water. Two in one deodorizing shampoo and conditioner for dogs. Mario. Um, it's fine. Now, Mecca. Okay, they have dogs. There's a dog in the house. There must be a dog in the house. There's some dog shampoo, right? <laughs> That's weird. I've never seen the dog outside. Yeah, maybe they let him out in the backyard. They have a pet dog. That's what we know. Okay. Well, that's enough. Now I know. I'm really starting to figure something. Oh, um, butterfingers. That's probably what got him sick. Joseph's like, that looks good. That's probably what got him sick. Why would a butterfingers get him sick? Butterfingers. Namaka. They like candy. So they like candy. They like eating out. We got the pizza curry up here. Are these healthy people? No. It was probably for Valentine's Day. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good inference. See, you're taking what you already know. You already knew that it was just Valentine's Day. We have just a couple more things in here to figure out about my neighbor. A golf magazine. Oh, so uh, maybe there's a, a dad that plays golf. That plays golf. Magazine golf. 
So someone in the house maybe has a, a golf interest at least, right? Maybe we don't can't say for sure that they play, but somebody's interested in it, right? Because there's a magazine in the house. They like what? Maybe, but I think it's just mostly a golf magazine. Hmm. Yeah. They threw it away. Maybe they finished reading it. Who knows? Yeah, they probably How long have they? Just about a month, but I haven't seen them. They're probably in the hospital. An empty um CD desk. Why would they take a CD out and throw the CD? Yeah, that's weird. Probably they lost the disc, so they just threw away the... Well, beside that, maybe we don't really know why this disc is empty, but what can we infer that they like what? Music, music. Right. Like right, they... This might be empty, but I mean, they bought it, so they... Like, It could be a video game, maybe. You should read the back. Hmm. It doesn't really say anything. It just has a couple sentences. Well, they like music or video games, right? <clears throat> hmm. This is helping me. My favorite place, Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Yeah. A Taco Bell receipt. These people, I don't think they eat very healthy, do you? We got the Taco Bell receipt, the Butterfingers. And the pizza. They don't. The, and the pizza. Don't she, they don't cook. Oh, see, Miranda says they don't cook. <laughs> You're making that inference. Okay. Um, there's one more thing in here. We have a empty cherry blossom body cream. Oh. Hey, give it to Madame Minerva first. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty. So, whose could this be? Can the mom. Maybe the mom or a girl. So, th there's a, a maybe a woman in the house, right? Unless the dad's using this. I don't know. Um, yeah, so, you just help me make all these inferences. Do you think, looking at our chart, this helped me about help me figure out my neighbors maybe even a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... So maybe someone said, maybe that's why I haven't seen them, mm -hmm. because they're sick. I don't know. I know. What I do know is they have a pet dog. I can say that pretty pretty much for sure. Ethan, do you have something to say? Oh, well, since they're not eating healthy food, that's probably why they're sick, and it's cold outside. Okay, see, look at those inferences. We have our clues. You're taking what you already know. That's an awesome inference. Maybe if you, a lot of times if you don't have a good diet, you can tend to get sick and the weather is cold. So I don't know. Maybe that's a good, that's a pretty good reason. Kyle. And the butterfinger is just three sticks. So then there, I mean, six sticks. So maybe there's six people in the Oh, see, now you're thinking deeper, right? Maybe there's six people in the family and each person got one Butterfinger. Or maybe the mom ate, sat down and ate them all herself. <laughs> Who else? Who's someone raising their hand over here? Hmm. Well, you know what? You guys are going to do the same thing now in your group. I'm going to give you... I'm going to give each group... I'll show you when I'll give you. I'm not going to give you an actual bag of trash to touch because I don't know if you want to touch that. I'm going to give you a list of items, each group. For example, this one says six torn movie tickets, an old dog bone, plane ticket to France, dirty diapers, chewed up romance novel. That's a book about love. Ooh. Chocolate chip ice cream carton or tickets to an NBA basketball game. Ooh. So you're going to do what I just did. You're going to take use the same chart. You are going to write the item on this side of the list. You are going to take what you already know and you are going to combine that with the clues that I give you on this sheet. 
and you are going to make an inference. You can discuss with your group what this inference might be. Maybe you, maybe Mario doesn't agree with uh, somebody at his group. Maybe someone at his group says something, and he said, that's not true. This is what I think. He can put what he thinks on this side. But I really want you guys to talk as a group about these inferences. But your answers don't have to be the same. So do you understand what you're doing in this? Yes. OK. And when you're done. What I want you to do, this says, what did your trash bag tell you about my new neighbors? Use your inferences to write a short summary about who my neighbors might be. Be detailed and thorough. So you're going to take that chart that you have with all of the inferences you made, and you are going to write a short summary about the neighbors, what you found out from these clues and the inferences that you made. So, for example, this one says dirty diapers. Maybe you inferred there is a baby in the house, right? <laughs> Nemeka, do you have your hand, hand up? <laughs> you can talk about it with your group, but you're going to write this on your own, okay? This is short. It shouldn't be hard because you're going to use what's already on that chart. No, I haven't seen them. That's why I went through this bag. We should give it every Monday. I should what? It's a trash every Monday. <laughs> every Monday go through their trash until I see them. Every Tuesday. Any questions about what you are doing, Nemeka? Wait, are we, are we all going to get um, our own sheet? No, I'm going to give each group this sheet. So you're all going to look at the sheet with the clues on it. You're going to write the clues and then make the inference. When you have finished that sheet, you're going to come up and then you will pick up the sheet. Understand? Uh -huh. Logan? Can you try knocking on the door to try to answer? No, I don't want to knock on somebody's door. Miranda? And one I'm going to give this sheet, one of these, to every table. For the other two sheets, you will have your own. Are they all different? Each group has different items. So you will have different inferences, okay? Okay, Olivia? <laughs> okay. I'm going to pass these out. Wait, so you won't have the same inferences as your own? You might have the same inferences with the people in your group, but maybe you think something different. Maybe that's something you could talk about. Talk about what you already know. Really try and think hard about these people and what these clues mean. So read through the clues with your group. Make sure you put your name and your number at the top of your paper. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple minutes to work on this. 
But then I just want to hear some of your group's ideas. Maybe a couple of you want to come up and share with the class the inferences that you made from your clues. Make sure everybody can see the clues. Take the chance to read through them. When you're writing your summaries, I want you to refer to this chart because your inferences that you made might not be 100% true, but that's okay. Here are some ways that you might start your sentence when you're writing your summary. I can, inf you might say, like for ours, we had the empty cold medicine container, right? So you might say something like, there was an empty cold medicine container, so I can infer that maybe somebody was sick. Or this could mean that somebody was sick. Here are just some ways that you can help you write when you write your summary. Perhaps someone was sick, maybe someone was sick. So these are just some ways to help you start writing your sentences. <laughs> Somebody likes to practice me. Oh, we should do it. Don't think too hard about it. It shouldn't be that hard. Six torn movie tickets. Wait, I want to start here. Six torn movie tickets. What do you write? What else? If there's six torn movie tickets, there's six people in the family, maybe, right? Hmm? And you should be discussing as a group, but maybe you don't agree with somebody in your group and you have your own answer. So if you want to talk about it with your group, but maybe write your own if you want. But. About two more minutes and then I'm going to call up your book to share. Just to share some of the differences that you made. Oh, you guys have a lot written down. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, someone likes sense, but I know, I think about my dog, and I think about a sneaky dog. It could be more than one thing, because you want to add You have to see what it means. You have to see what it means. Yeah. That's what it means. Somebody has a dog, maybe, because I know, from my knowledge, that a lot of times dogs are sneaky dogs. 
Okay, potato. They wrote like down potato. They like potato. One gardening glove. Why would there only be one? What, why would there only be one glove instead of two? Maybe? Something to think about. We'll just move on. Torn wrapping paper. Okay, well, let's think. There's a yellow balloon. There's wrapping paper. There had to be some kind of party, right? Yeah. I think they go to the library every Saturday. Yeah. What? Why are we Saturday? Oh, man. 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 Fanny Justin Bieber Who is the house with me? Mary. Mary. Maybe like a younger. Yeah. And then Mary. You think the dad yeah. likes Mary? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they all do. They all do. Yeah, do you guys want to come up and share? Huh? Okay. Yeah, Preston. You want to share? Okay. Their kids like to read. Okay, Ivana would like to share. Let's put it up on the visualizer. Okay. 
Runny nose. Okay, what's this item? A squeaky tennis ball. So she can infer what? Okay, first, I love that you're using these sentences. She said, I can infer someone plays tennis, so maybe someone plays tennis, or she can infer because it's a squeaky tennis ball. Maybe there's a dog in the house, right? Because I know from my knowledge, I have a dog who loves squeaky balls, right? So either someone's playing tennis or maybe that pet dog loves that squeaky tennis ball. Who knows? Cough drop wrapper. Maybe someone has a sore throat. Empty jug of bubble bath. Hmm. Someone likes to take bubble Someone likes to take bubble baths. I know when I'm sick, sometimes a bath makes me feel better, right? Maybe that person who's sick is taking the bubble bath. Orange juice carton. She inferred that what? Someone likes orange juice. Someone likes orange juice. Maybe that sick person is getting that vitamin C. And the last one is a what? Half tube. Half tube of lipstick. She can infer. A girl a girl likes lots of lipstick. I like she said a girl. Maybe there's a girl in the house because with her knowledge, she knew girls wear lipstick. Thanks, Ivana. If you're done, you can go pick up your summary sheet on the back table. Here, Ivana. You 